Hi, we're going to talk about electron dot. This is the beginning of working toward Lewis dot structures. Electron dot is super simple. We take an element symbol of, for example, carbon, and we want to represent symbolically the valence electrons for that uh, element. So I've got carbon. Let's review valence electrons. We're going to count um, the S and the P block because valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost energy level, which will be the S and the P block. Um, so I find carbon, there it is, atomic number six. I'm going to count from left to right. We've got one, two, three, four, four valence electrons. And just as a reminder, that's um, from the 2s and the 2p, that's the outermost energy level, the valence shell for carbon. So four valence electrons, and we need to put those valence electrons um, as dots around the carbon. So we use Hund's rule here. Uh, we will pretend that there's a box around the symbol, and we're going to put one electron around each side until each side has an electron, and then we double up. So I've got four valence electrons. It doesn't matter where you start, just out of habit, I start at the top and I go clockwise. So one, two, three, four. There is the electron dot for carbon. Let's do another one. Um, let's take an arsenic right here. So I'm going to count the valence electrons. One, two, skip the D, three, four, five. Remember we skip the D because that's one energy level lower, closer to the nucleus. This is 4s, 3d, so 4s, 3d, and then back to the 4p out here. So the valence shell is the fourth energy level. That's why you skip that D. So one, two, three, four, five, five valence electrons. We will write the symbol for arsenic AS, and then five electrons have to go around this. So again, I'm going to do one electron on each side and then double up. So one, two, three, four, now I double up five, okay? Um, so notice I have a pair, and then I have uh, these individual unpaired electrons um, on three sides for the arsenic. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, let's do a xenon right here. So let's count our valence electrons. Uh, one, two, skip the D, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I'm going to do xenon and start at the top, put one electron in each side, then we double up. So one, two, three, four. Now I can double up five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this has all paired electrons. We have four pairs of electrons around that xenon. Uh, let's do one more. Let's pretend that you have a rubidium. So rubidium, if we're going to do electron dot, we've only got one valence electron, so we put one electron like that. Okay, there you have it, electron dot. It's a good start. Have a nice day.